Hey what's up everyone this is going to be another Android Studio video and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom dialog box and how to execute certain methods when you click OK or if you click cancel so I'll show you a little demo here button 1 if I click on it it prompts a dialog box it has a title so dialog box 1 and then it gives you a little description saying this is dialog box 1 so if I click cancel or I click OK it's going to execute different methods in the code so if I click on OK we can see OK method 1. If I open it back up, I'll click Cancel, and we can see Cancel method 1. Now I'll click on Dialog Box 2, so it's a little different. If I click OK, it's going to execute OK method 2. So there's OK method 2. Now I'm going to show you Cancel method 2. There you go. Oh, I'm also going to show you how to set the image on the Dialog Box. So this little image right here. So if you want to learn how to use custom dialog boxes, then keep watching this video. First thing we're going to do is go into our layout file and we're going to add the buttons. So there's our buttons. I just called uh, one dialog box one, the other one dialog box two, and named it button one and button two for the ID. So we can close that. Now I want to declare our tag and our buttons. Now I want to declare our buttons in the onCreate method. Now we'll create the custom dialog box method. So here's sort of the general structure. We have the custom dialog method, we have a title, a message, a cancel method, and, and an OK method. Then we have, we set a negative button and a positive button to the builder single, which is declared right here. And inside these methods, we can have certain cases for like if the cancel method is used or if the OK method is used. And we have a label for them here. So this, this is going to be labeled cancel and this is going to be labeled OK. And then at the bottom, we just show the builder singles. So the first thing we'll do is declare a couple properties of the builder single. So builder single, um, we're going to set the icon r dot mipmap dot. Uh, so this is where we can set like a custom icon, like I showed in the demo. But we'll have to import it. So we can go to values and oh no, we'll go to mipmap, go to new image asset. And we can go to notification icons and choose from here somewhere. So I don't know, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to choose this one. Hit OK. And uh, it's already got a name, so that's fine. Go next and finish. So now, oh, it went into drawable. OK. So drawable and I see stat name. So now we have our custom icon. Now we're going to set the title or define the title of the builder single. So builder single dot set uh, set title, and we can just pass our title from the method above. Then we can set the message. Now we'll go down to our cancel method. So sort of the structure of this is you have cases. So if cancel method dot equals, uh, I can just say like cancel method one, and then we can say cancel method one and execute that. Of course, I haven't made that yet, but that's sort of the general structure. So I can create a bunch of methods up here, and inside cancel method one, I'm gonna print out toast, and I'll log it actually above here too. There we go. So now, if somebody clicks on the cancel button on the dialog box, cancel method one will be called. And I'm gonna create this toast method. So there's our toast, actually I'm gonna move it to the bottom because we pretty much never look at it, it just sits there. And now I'm going to copy this a couple times. Okay, so there's all our methods that we're going to call. Now we can go back down into our uh, custom dialog box and we can do else if cancel method dot equals cancel method 2. And then if in that case, we want to execute cancel method 2. And then we're going to do the same thing for the OK method but uh, we're going to execute the OK methods. OK. So then last, we just need to set our on-click listeners for our buttons. So for button 1, we just call the custom dialog method. Dialog box 1 will make the title. This is dialog box 1 will be the message. And then we can either call cancel method 1 for cancel, because this is the cancel method. and method OK1 okay for the OK method. I just want to double check OK method 1. 
Oh no, it's gotta be okay method one, not method okay. There we go. Oh, and that's gonna be cancel method one. Okay, so we have cancel method one and okay method one. Now we can create our second button. So exactly the same thing, except we change everything to a two. So cancel method one, uh, two instead of cancel method one, and okay method two instead of okay method one. And that's pretty much all there is to it. But you can see how this would be very useful because you could, you could, you could add any amount of these, right? Tons of different options for different scenarios. Just have you know different. You can call these whatever you want, and then pass different ones into here for certain certain cases. But this is just like a good general way to do this. All right, so let's run it. Okay, so we'll test the first button. You can see everything looks right here. Now we'll click OK. OK method one, that's good. Cancel, cancel method one. Click button two, that looks all good. Oh, actually our image isn't right. Well, let's check the OK button first. That's good. And now we'll hit cancel. That's good. Okay, so the button, I have a feeling that button didn't work because I imported it to the wrong place. So, notifications. Why is it launching all the time? Yeah, that'll probably work now. So change this to hit map and notification and run it and click on a button. There we go. So now it shows up. So that's it for this tutorial. Nice and short, but it's pretty powerful. Like every every app uses custom dialog boxes and to have the ability to execute different methods in different situations is pretty powerful. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave a like. Definitely don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.